people, if you're gonna buy any books from this list of recommendations, you really need to make sure that you buy Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud and Making Comics also by Scott McCloud. I'm gonna discuss both of these books at the same time because I can't imagine reading one without reading the other. So these are both books about comics that are actually drawn as comics themselves. Scott McCloud is so enthusiastic about the power of comics as a communication medium that he thought, well, I might as well demonstrate how good comics are by using comics to tell my story. Now, this is an idea that makes a lot of sense because previous books that tried to teach comics, like Will Eisner's Comics and Sequential Art, tried to explain comics with essays of text. Now, this might be sacrilege for me to say as a cartoonist, but I don't know about you, I find this Will Eisner book really hard to read. But on the other hand, I love the Scott McCloud books that Will Eisner ended up inspiring. These two Scott McCloud titles are books I'd recommend to anyone, whether you personally want to create comics or not, because they've got some great insights into the creative process generally. I guess it's a little bit like how it's interesting to learn about how a great musical album is made, whether you're a musician or not. And Scott McCloud does a great job of explaining some interesting insights into a lot of everyday things that we take for granted. Language, symbols, communication, art, human thought, now, as you might imagine, of the two books, Understanding Comics mostly focuses on the theory behind comics. So Understanding Comics comes a little more from the reader's point of view. And the other book, Making Comics, comes at it more from the creator's point of view. So in Making Comics, Scott McCloud talks about everything from character design, storytelling, choosing which moments to show in your comics panels, creative, realistic and immersive worlds for your readers to enjoy, choosing which tools and materials to use as a comics artist, and many, many more things as well. It's worth noting that instead of being a book where Scott McCloud rigidly talks about how to draw comics exactly like him, actually the opposite is true. Scott McCloud, as you may know, is an enthusiast for the potential that comics have to tell many different types of stories in many different genres and styles. So he advocates artists being able to go wild and create comics on any topic and with any style they like. So he definitely encourages you, the comics artist, to consider your place in the world of comics and to consider how you can twist the format to make way for yourself and your stories in the world of comics. And I've definitely taken that to heart as a creator myself. After reading these books, I've chosen to go a little bit off the beaten track with my non-fiction comics about social issues and science experiments. So thanks to Scott McCloud for giving me a confidence boost to do what I'm doing. And just finally, one other thing that I really like about both of these books is how much Scott chooses to highlight the works of other cartoonists. He features artwork from other cartoonists and give references to their books. So because of this, I've learned about some of my favorite comics by reading these Scott McCloud books. And I've chosen to buy certain comics based purely on the strength of Scott's recommendations and maybe a little image from the book that I like. And by the way, that includes Blankets by Craig Thompson, and Mouse by Art Spiegelman, both of which have become, uh, which I became aware of through these books, both of which are now some of my favorite comics. So like I said before, I think you'll really like both of these books, whether you're a comics artist yourself or not. But for those of you who are budding comics artists, there really is no excuse for you to not have these two books in your collection. You need to buy Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud and Making Comics by Scott McCloud.